Uh, are you guys with us? Nope. Hello everyone, Psychics here, and welcome back to another episode of Vice Wave 1984, or just Vice Wave. I'm here with James, our main protagonist, and uh, we're about to go out and, well, continue on our quest. Well, I guess we got ourselves a little birthday, or, well, just a cake here. Guess we're celebrating uh, that James got out of jail for pickpocketing. All right, so let's go out and see what Los Riveros has in store for us today. Probably uh, more horrific driving and and uh, well and a lot of other stuff. I don't know why my voice just went up there. All right, so I think uh, we're supposed to go get ourselves some clothes. And notice how, um, they don't conceal weapons around here, so... This strange city, which is a mix between LA and Miami, apparently, uh, open carry is, uh, is a thing. Well, come to think of it, I've actually never seen any police officers on the street. And as you know, as you may notice, there is, uh... There are AI, like NPCs, moving around, but there's no traffic. There's no traffic at all. Who knows, maybe that'll be a thing for a future update, but as for now, there is, uh, there is no traffic. There are plenty of cars around, but you'll never see them drive anywhere. So, essentially, it's a, it's a mecca for you to go steal cars. Point your gun at... I'm not really interested in robbing the place. I just want some new clothes. Upper cloth. Yes. Um. Uh, blazers? Let's go with a shirt. Wow. Wow. Okay, uh, this must be some high-end stuff, because it is expensive. Yeah, let's just go with the classic, uh, black t-shirt here. Even though I did turn the volume down, I don't know why some of the... Some of the in-game sounds, especially in the menus, are as is, is loud as can be. Uh, okay, we're not going with pants. Yeah, we're just gonna go black on black here. With the white sneaks. Silver clocks. I'm guessing they're thinking of, uh, of a watch. Wow. Jesus Christ, everything is super expensive in here. Dude, you must make a fortune. Or actually, depends on, if we're in, if we're back in 1984, and clothes around here cost four to five grand, I'd imagine this guy would be out of business in no time. I mean, it costs 80 grand just to buy the entire store. It's almost a better bargain if you buy his store instead of actually buying clothes. Oh well. It's going over here to uh, meet up with our uncle and the dude. I can't remember who's, what, whose name is now. Jay, I was just thinking about you. I got this deal for you. Today our chief drug officer, Gustavo, is arriving from Bolivia. I want you to meet him and bring him here, intact. Is there something more serious in your elderly pockets? I was not hired here as a nanny for the sons of the authorities. A cool guy, calm down. The airport is located next to the most 
criminal areas of Los Rivieros. Gustavo has many enemies among the enemy gangs, so I recommend you stock up on Felix's weapons and be ready for <laughs> a bit of slaughter. I'll be waiting for you at the bar. Okay, I'll take it into account, Uncle. Yeah, you gotta love that voice acting. You gotta love that voice acting. So I guess I need to go back to Felix. Funny how my uncle calls him Felix, but Mateo calls him Felix. Felix, the gun chief. Alright. Wonder if you can, um... Turn off... Turn off the, uh... Subtitling stuff. You know what? I'm just gonna check that. So, uh, I'll be right back. Alright, we're back again. Unfortunately, uh, there was no option to turn off subtitling in here. They did lower the volume just a little bit for, uh, for some things. So we'll see how that pans out. Um, you know what? I think we're just gonna try and steal this car right here. Swing by Felix's place. Check out. If he's got any guns, new guns for us. Yay! Oh, there we go. There we go. Every time you look at a guy with a gun, he needs to cock it. Because, you know, that's... Ah, there you go. We got our 1930s mobster guy here. I think last time around I said it was a uh, an M16, but it looks more like a an M4. So my bad. Felix, I can get a bat. Nice. I want a bat. I don't have to pay for any of these things. That's kind of sweet. Armor, give me that. MP5, give me that. You took weapons from the warehouse. Ab yeah, well, you know. That's how I roll, baby. I think a bat will come in handy as well. Wait 30 seconds before taking it again. Oh, here we go. Here we go. So now I got a gun. I got, a <laughs> got myself an MP5 and a bat, and it's... Not looking suspicious at all that I'm wearing all of it. Luckily, uh, all the sports cars in this game backfire a lot. I mean, who doesn't like a backfiring car? Oh, damn it. I guess so. One, I might be a horrible driver in in this game, but two, the, uh, the car handling lines here are crazy. Oh, there's a gun store over here. Probably super expensive though. Oops. It's kind of funny how some stuff you can break in this game and other stuff you can't. Like in the first mission where I drove my car into a fence, it didn't break. But then there's a guy who started shooting at it and then the fence broke. Hey, Gustavo, oh, you, you can't just jump in the car, right? I actually have to physically get out and walk over. Gustavo? Yes. I'm James. Raf sent me for you. James, do you have a gun? Sure, I was warned of a possible raid. That's good. Since at the airport, I saw a couple of skinhead guys who looked at me strangely. I think they are from Taurus Boys. What the fucking guys? Hola, amigos. Do you think we forgot about that deal? Paragas por esto, idiota. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Motherfucker. Okay. Man, the, the, the audio on those cutscenes is crazy loud. Alright, yeah, I forgot, so... 
When you fail a mission, you get to start from the very beginning of the said mission. That's that's just awesome. So, is the car unlocked? This? Oh, need to pick it. But <laughs> at least uh, it's still black, though. Alright, let's just skip going to Felix and go on over right away. So one of the things, it would be fun if this game had like multiplayer. Oh yeah, that's right. So although I failed the previous mission, like my old car is still here. Gustavo? Yes. Yeah. I'm James. Raf sent me for you. James, do you have a gun? Sure, I was warned of a possible raid. That's good. Since at the airport I saw a couple of skinhead guys who looked at me strangely. I think they are from Taurus Boys. What the fucking guys? Hola, amigos. Hola. Do you think we forgot about that deal? Paragas por esto, idiota. <laughs> Unit up to the code three okay. I guess third third time's a charm around here. Alright, let's just grab the old timer car here and uh get on over to the airport. <clears throat> Oops. Well, I guess my fellow criminal gang members, or criminal gang, what the hell am I talking about? Criminal gang members. My fellow gang members apparently are cool with me running them over. And speaking of running over, let's uh, see how much stuff we actually can run over. So we can do a power slide here. Oh, there you go. Almost, almost a 180. Almost the one. Yep. Okay. So the street lights you can't harm. Good Gustavo? dialogue, Gustavo. Yes. Yes. I'm James. Rav sent me for you. James, do you have a gun? Sure. I was warned of a possible raid. That's good. Since at the airport I saw a couple of skinhead guys who looked at me strangely. I think they are from Taurus Boys. What the fucking guys? Hola, amigos. Do you think we forgot about that deal? Paragas por esto. I don't know who you stepped on the balls to, Gustavo, and I don't care. Take your balls in a fist and the trunk in your hands and get out of here. The other two got out of the car. Oh, shit. Should you reload? Um Oh okay. We're 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 going down to their place. Sweet. Well let's why not grab their car then? The Toros Boys territory. Well let's get on out, start popping fools. Somebody shot. Why? Take the bag of drugs from the kitchen and let's get out of here. There's a weird thing. When you enter a room, it automatically, 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 automatically puts your gun away. That's that's nice. All right, let's go to the bar. Uh, are you guys with us? Nope. Jay, thought about 
doing the drug business. In our time, it's very profitable. Jesus. Sure there has out for good. I thought about it, but I was afraid to do it alone. Too dangerous business, but since now I am with you, then I'm good to go. If it's about a good money. We'll provide you with a warehouse where you can store all your goods, as well as a save for dirty money. In this case, you can ride very quickly. Can you go anywhere in this city without getting shot at? Oh, Uncle Raph is here and Matteo. Finally, where have you been for so long? Shut Some up, dude. bullshitters were nearly to kill us at the airport. Had to let a couple of assholes sneak the lead. So the gun came in handy. What's in the backpack? Cocaine. They took it from the Taurus boys' junkies. Great job. Gustavo is safe. And it looks like we're restocking right now. Show James where our warehouse is. Follow me, Jay. Um, I've already been to the warehouse. You guys, you guys gonna... Okay. Yeah, so in a city that's a weird mix between Miami and LA, you have gangs that are a weird mix between street gangs and 1930s mobsters. Gotta love this game. There's, there's so many interesting things and aspects to Here it. Here you can keep all the goods safe and put dirty money in the safe. If you want, you can try to sell the product to drug dealers. Look for them around the city. They are in every corner. You learn dirty money for the sale, which still needs to be laundered. This is done at the bank through the business. Unfortunately, you don't have a business yet, so I'll talk to Rodolfo about this. Maybe he'll work up something for you. Okay, Gustavo. All right, five grand. Now I almost have enough money to buy myself a pair of pants. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else who's watching, or hopefully watching, this is going to be it for this episode. Um, if you like the episode, leave a thumbs up. If you know how to get rid of all the, uh, the dialogue texts, please drop a comment below. And if you made it this far, consider subscribing. For now, this has been Psychics. Thank you very much for watching.